They're talking peace. They're talking ceasefire. They're talking. But in the meantime, they're fighting. So while they're fighting, let us do the proper talking. And let us say a capital to heal him. Chapter 120. I am peace, says King David. They, unfortunately speaking, war. In this case, they're not just speaking war, they're waging war. Abishtar, please, bring already about the ultimate peace and let us all give some tzedakah for the safety of the world, for the security of the world, for the security of our kingdom in Israel. We have so many tragedies, not just in Ukraine, but terrorist attacks in Israel. God, please, hab rachmanes, take us out of this misery and bring us into the ultimate redemption. Talking about redemption, let us learn a little piece of Gemara. Gemara Talmud Tzadik Ches Sanhedrin in the Sefer, in the Gemara Sanhedrin, on page Sadik Ches, Amit Beis, 98, Folio B. The Gemara discusses over here different subjects related to Mashiach, and is asking, what is the name of Mashiach? So the Gemara lists over here four different names. Each name is said by the student of their teacher, of their Rebbe, and they found a word in Torah, in Tanakh, in Tehillim, wherever it is, that is similar or exactly the same as the Rabbi, and they c- connected to him. So the Gemara says, the students of Rabbi Yana, the students, excuse me, the first one is, the students of Rabbi Shiloh, say Shiloh Shemoy, because we find the Pasuk until Shiloh will come, and this refers to Moshiach. The students of Rabbi Yana says, Yinon Shemoy, because we find the Pasuk, Yinon related to Moshiach, and Yinon and Yana is very similar. The, ne- the students of Rabbi Hanino, they say, Hanino Shemoy. Again, because there's a passage that says, we haven't received yet our consolation. The word Hanino, Hanino referring to Moshiach. Their Rabbi is Hanino, so Moshiach's name is Hanino. Then the Gemara says, there are those who say that Benachem ben Chizki Shemoy, not referring to any specific teacher as such, but Yeshoimrim Menachem ben Chizki is his name. Then the Gemara says, and this is where I want to come to now. Rabban and Amri, our sages tell us in general, Chivre de ve Rabbi Shumoy. And as Rashi explains, Chivre meaning the Mitzoyra of the house of Rabbi. Although I've said the last few days that Mitzoyra is not leprosy, but loosely translated, we'll call it leprosy. So we'll just for the, co- for the sake of this present conversation, we'll call it just the leopard. So the leopard of the house of Rabbi is is his name. So his name is what? Mitzoyro, leopard. The word goes on because it says by Moshiach, he will suffer our pains, he will take upon himself our, our sicknesses. And Rabbi, Rabbi Yudanasi, who was the prince, so to say, he was the author of the Mishnah, was a descendant of King David. And if Moshiach would have been revealed at that time, it would have been him. But let's focus a moment. This week's Pasha, we're talking about Metzoyro, a leopard. It's not a positive name. It's a derogatory name. It represents a person who unfortunately committed the sin of Lashon Hara and it affected his skin. We call Moshiach with such a derogatory term, such a derogatory name as Mitzoyro, Chivro, Mashiach is the perfect being. Mashiach is the Tzadi Gamur. God forbid to apply to him, to accuse him, suspect him even of Lashon Hara, out of the question. So why is this so? So the Alter Rebbe explains a beautiful thought. He says, really, when we're talking about a person having this skin disease, is an indication that there is no inner disease. It's only an external disease. In other words, says the Alter Rebbe, that a person has basically perfected himself. All his inner qualities are perfect. He's reached the greatest heights. The only thing which is left is just a superficial stain. 
Short of that, he's great. Moshiach is a reflection of the state of the Jewish people, what level they are. Him for his own, he's perfect. He's a tzaddik gomer, greater than Moshe Rabbeinu, greater than the greater Novi, and the greater tzaddik, and no question about it. The greatest of all the greatest. But when he reflects the Jewish people as the leader of the Jewish people, as the one who's going to take us out of exile, there he reflects the state of being of the Jewish people. So he said the time for Moshiach is going to be when we are perfect. It's just a superficial little dusting that is necessary. This is what he must say. That's why we call him a Torah, to tell us when we are at that stage. And as the Rabbi said, we are at this stage. We, we're ready for Mashiach. All we need to do is just one little more action and a little dusting. Rabbi Nishalaylam, we're ready. <laughs>